Good morning, Everyday Faith. Welcome to day 25. Today we're looking at Psalm 55, 22. Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. And then it goes on to say, setbacks, stumbles, and failures happen to the best of us. No one person is immune to reverting back to old ways or falling into old habits. Just because you begin to experience freedom and healing from anxiety doesn't guarantee that you'll never struggle again in the future. To stumble or fall back doesn't make you a failure, nor does it mean that you're not good enough. If and when that moment arrives, go back to what you know and who you know. Bring your burdens to the Lord. He will be the one to, to care for you, and he will be the one to keep you from falling any further. And I just wanted to read all of that because I think um, it's so important to hear um, all of those words and just kind of let them sink in that yes, setbacks and stumbles are most likely going to happen. I've been struggling with anxiety for mm, lots and lots of years. And, um, but I can say that it, it has gotten better because I've been more um, equipped on ways to get back, get out of it, um, verses to go to, which I think we've done a lot um, through this month is just kind of building up our armor against anxiety. And um, so there's a verse that I'm going to to throw at you right now. And um, and it's just not, it's about not giving up. And I know we've talked a couple times this month about not giving up, but um, when you get to those setbacks and those stumbles, it's really easy for us to just kind of think, you know, we're not good enough, just like it said, um, you're not good enough, I'm a failure. It's really easy to go there. So this is my verse that I'm gonna give you to kind of help you get through that. So it's um, Philippians 1, 6, and um, this is the message version version or translation. So um, but the wording's a little bit different and I really like it. So it says, there has never been the slightest doubt in my mind that the God who started this great work in you would keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day Christ Jesus appears. And I just love it. It's just so refreshing to think that, I mean, God has got you. And when those burdens get laid on you and that anxiety gets laid on you, God is going to lift you up. He's going to put his arms underneath you and he's going to get you through the setbacks and he's going to get you through the stumbles because... At the end, you're going to become, you're going to end in a flourishing finish. I just love that imagery that that gives me. I'm going to read it one more time. There has never been the slightest doubt in my mind that the God who started this great work in you would keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day Christ Jesus appears. Amen to that. So we'll, um, get through our setbacks, we will get through our stumbles, and we will end up with him in a flourishing finish. Um, I hope that brightens y'all's day because it definitely did mine. I love you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.